When you gloom so dark, you chewing chains, you slaver, chin tomato tongue, and talking drabby drooge. When dance with waif and whirlwind wheel too fast and smash and snap and break in handsy beauty, now you crumple low while vitriolic scold you whippering rump. And when light switch be your only friend, and okay, friends are fine, but Christ, don't stand all day, no break for lunch, and flick your friend till fingers throbbing, blisters leak, and contact voltage smack you brains like squash ball, ECT, hee hee. Then welcome, ma, ooh, impulsive welcome. In blue jam, 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 blue jam. Um, my name's Jason Laz. I'm a freelance photographer, and I keep tropical fish. And I like to get in with, with the fish whenever I can. They're quite safe. And Mel here helps me to get in. I just okay. Okay, I've got you. It's quite hard to balance. Careful. And then just sit down. You spilt two fish, Chase. It's quite fiddly because the. The tanks are only a foot wide and three foot long. A couple more there. I mean, use the net, huh? I think you squashed one, though. Yeah, angel fish. Mm. So, I'm sitting down. Its guts are coming out of its mouth. And there's not much water left, actually. There's quite a lot of squashed oh. ones. Oh, Mel, I think I've cracked the heater. Yeah, I'm getting quite bad shocks all along my left side here. I think you've cracked the glass as well. Now, I don't do this very often because you have to get a lot of new fish. This one's coming hard. Right. Thanks, Mel. Oh. oh dear. I've got quite a long gash here from the glass. This one's had it. Well, they're, they're quite weak animals. Um, have you got a plaster, please, ma'am? Well, he's still breathing. As I say, it's, it's nice to get in with them once in a while. Oh, no, I've broken. <laughs> yes, well, they're, they're really very weak fish. Small fingers. Oh, is that a flimsy one? Mm. Mm. Yeah, seem to be losing quite a lot of blood. Oh, really, I'm starting to feel quite woozy. Could I have one ticket, please? Eight pounds fifty. Um, the sort that lets me into the cages, please. Sorry? Uh, the, the sort that lets me into the cages, please. There's no such thing I've as made an arrangement with the management. Well, I haven't heard anything about no, it. They said I could do it for £450. Well, we don't do that. Well, they should have left you a note. Uh, well, they, they didn't leave me well, could, could you ask them, please? I suppose. Thank you. Hello, it's main entrance here. Yes, yeah, Suzanne. Excuse me, it's just yes. going to take a long time. I've got quite a tall man. Stop hogging the kiosk. I'm not hogging the kiosk. Well, you are, actually. I'm trying to buy a very important ticket. We've all got important tickets to buy. Mine's a special one. Excuse me, can we get past this man, please? Because he's just I have a right up. to buy my special ticket. Um, hello, sir. Can I help? And who might you be? I'm the customer manager. Um, I gather you want a special ticket. That's right, I've arranged it with your seniors. Mm hmm. Uh, do you remember a name, sir? Um, no, I don't believe in names very much. I see. And and what, what was the arrangement? That I could pay a cash sum of £450 and be allowed in any of the cages. And may I ask why, Mr. Martin? You. 
mm, so much as I believe in it. May I ask why, Mr. Martin? You? I want to lie down with a lion and not wake up again. Mm. Maybe prostrate myself in the rhino trench. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, he's trying to get in the cages with you. Well, I, I'm Sweet. sorry, sir. I don't think that kind of arrangement has been made. I've dressed especially for it. I'm sorry, sir. I, I think it would be best if you leave. Sir. I'm not leaving. Listen, well, I've got my kids here. Yeah, we don't, we don't want the children to see you. No, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It bloody is. Leave me alone. All well, right. then don't you uh, keep upsetting everybody. You then. bloody people. All right, so if you... Just leave your sickness at home. It's not my sickness. Bloody so, is. It's your sickness. All right, sir. So You're the ones who make me want to do it. Well, you think, need a doctor, mate. I think you should leave now, sir. No, come on. No, I've got come, more money. Come on, sir. This way, please. That's it. No, I, I've got, I'll give you £8,000. What? £8,000. Cash. Eight? For you to let me go in an animal place. Can I see the money? Yes. Uh, in here, please. Sir. Just come soon. There it is. All notes from bloody bastards. Mm. Right. Well, I'll be on my lunch break in ten minutes. You can do what you want. Um, there is a chance you may be rescued. I can't do anything about that, but want to, then off you go. Thanks. Don't thank me, mate. No, you're a bit of a bloody bastard as well. Good. Cool. But I'm very happy with the way I'm going. Please, out. Rhinos. Outside. The rhinos and the lions. What? But the rhinos are winning today, and they shall feel my jam between their toes. What? Hmm. Sicko? Yeah. Bloody bastards. Oh, just go home. How much I've heard. Surrounded by squealing sick children. Kevin Greening farts like a sex and laughs to see the air. this sort of thing. Come on. Up you get. What, what do you mean, fight? <laughs> ah, that's it. Come on. Come on, get it, you sad prick. Just what, what the hell he... <laughs> Come on, you dripping great girl. Right, get off. Get off. Come on. I'm winning. I'm winning. You're losing, aren't you? Oh, don't bloody... Understand? This is my best result in weeks. Leave me alone. Alison's got to see this. Alison, uh, Michael, um, have you got a minute? Ah! Oh, you can't fight me when I'm on the phone. Oh, sorry, Alison, the wanker's trying to cheat. Hey, not from behind. Hey, Alison, he's cheating. Why are you doing this? Why? Ah! Ah! Oh, Alison! Oh my God. 
I was winning. I was winning until he started cheating. Stop it. I know it looks like I'm losing now, but I was bouncing on his chest. He didn't have a chance. Stop it now. But I was winning. I was winning. Pash, I'm, I'm really very sorry about this. Please just wait in reception, could you? I'll be out on that. Alison, he bloody cheated. He bloody bashed me while I was on the phone ringing for a ref. Michael, shut up and come here. Oh, no, Alison. Trousers down. Please. You bloody jerk. Stupid little man. Now sit down at your desk and think about what the fuck you're going to say to Mr. Pash. Oi! Alison! You didn't see how it bloody started, did you? He hit me! With a metal thing! Got it in his jacket. You didn't look at his jacket, did you? Bloody cheat. <sighs> Cheats always win. I'm going to cheat next time. I can see Steve Lamack as a free old man in a wheelchair <laughs> trying to shake hands with an elephant. <laughs> Sometimes we go and have a smoke by the old Bovary lad. Uh, Lenny the Goth up there. Till we found out he was just a puppet. Hey, look. Hey, look, he's through my nose. Can't see anything. Sometimes we play ten man's tryout. That's fucking ace. Who's uh, got the tryout? What? Who's got it? <laughs> I have. <laughs> have you? Yeah. No. Where is it? Uh, which one's no? Wait a minute. What's that? Isn't bloody tryout gone? Played it since we were kids. I still don't know who's got the tryout. Have any accolades today, Mikey? No. Yes? No, you haven't, Les. Oh, no. Yes, I have. We daft. No. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Eh? Which ones? No. Shut up, Les. Don't get many accolades, no? A few years ago, a big one came down here. A uh, big plume of fuzz on the front. And as it trundled off, it got smaller. That's how it got through the door of the pub. Drove like, straight through the bar and up to the back. By that time, it was only the size of a strep, so. So simple Evans at it. Died immediately of a broken kick. Over by the, uh, the crisp packet there, that's where uh, Loud Bob at his garage. You sent in your car for a service, you'd send your car back the next day in a shirt. Uh, that went out of fashion about ten years ago, didn't it? Everybody had a shirt in their car when the Dallas Wall came. Old Castor Dallas, they come here looking for their birthplace. One of them cut his bum off on a piece of freight. <laughs> Short while after that, a car with a shirt on wasn't trendy at all. You know, that's why uh, Loud Bob ended up at the chimney market. 
Loads of chimneys in it. Mm. Lovely old chimneys. Wet and dry chimneys. To keep the uh, wet ones outside. And the dry ones. Loud Bob bought 30 one day. Why does the hair go up? I went up to his yard to have a look and Bob was clambering about and he just stepped off a little one. Only about three foot tall it was, but it was from the top of a, a tall factory chimney and it forgot to remove the impact, see? So he, he jumps down three foot and the ground did seem like the front of a train. I got a bit of him stuck in my teeth. I was gawping, you know. We forget to build our house again. Who's coming up to the grit barrel? Oh no, there's bombers in there. Nice. He's scared of the grit barrel because he thinks the Second World War's still going on in there. Are you in it banging? Nice. May I ask you something, Mikey? Yes. If a zombie, right? If a zombie has wooden flooring, do they put it down themselves or pay someone else to do it? Les, you are a prime little bollock. Hey. <laughs> He's got a tryout. <laughs> yeah. He's got it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's it gone? Where it? Who's got it? <laughs> Real now? Real, I don't know. Have you got it? I haven't. I'll tell you. No, it isn't. Where am I? Have you? No. I'll tell you. Where's Where is it now? I don't know. Where's it gone? Where is it? No, you haven't got it. Yes, you've got it now. I haven't got it. You got it. Well, where's it gone then? Where's it gone? If you've got it, give it back. I don't know. I don't know where it is, man. I don't know bloody well. Where's that bloody tree? I've got it. Have you got it? Have you got it? Have you got it? No. Well, if you haven't got it, then he hasn't got it. Where the hell is it? Because I haven't got it. Well, you haven't got it. If I haven't got it, no one's got it. Where the bloody hell is it? I bet he's bloody got it all the time. Jean? Hello? Uh, could you get John Cooper for me? Do you know his number? I think it's something like 345-6697, something like that. Right. Try a few numbers a bit like that. Is it 345-6679? Yeah, try that. It, it's quite urgent. I need John Martin as well. What's he on? Oh, um, the two four two double eight seven eight, or something like that. Double eight seven eight. I think so. Just try all the numbers with seven near the end. Okay. Oh, hello. Could I have Michael de Grey, please? Peter Chapel of Chapel. Michael de Grey. He's the senior partner. <laughs> well, have you been working there long? I must say, I don't recognise the voice. Oh, um, 2562324, something like that. <laughs> yeah, well, close enough. But look, for God's sake, it's only a number. Oh, come on, I've got better things to do than get pedantic about a four. Look, I'm sorry if I got your number slightly wrong. Just don't throw up your nuts about it. Well, even if I have, you're still in Clerkenwell, aren't you? Right, well, instead of arguing like a spoilt girl, how about popping round the corner and giving them a message? <sighs> Jean? Yes? Any luck with those numbers? No. Oh, bloody piss. How long's the backlog? Just under a thousand calls. Oh. It's going to be another late finish. Do you mind? Okay. Thanks, Jean. Do you want me to phone Madison? No, well, I'd better do that.
Oh, hello, love. Uh, Alison? Oh. Is she there? Alison Chapel? Did she say when she'd be back? Oh. Uh, but who is this, by the way? Are you one of her friends? <laughs> well, may I ask what you're doing there? I'm pretty sure you don't. I'd have seen you in the morning or something. Uh, yeah, um, 2120344, something like that. <laughs> well, it got me through, didn't it? Mm, well, I guess, yeah. Well, if you do bump into her, could you tell her I'm going to have to spend another night in the office? Yeah, Peter Chappell, yeah. If you see her. Thanks. Bye. Jean? Yes? Any luck? No. Oh, for God's sake. Could you call the phone engineers? We can't go on like this. Right. Tell them to cut off the lines. I, I think we can do without the phones, really, don't you? Yes. Good. Good, 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 good. Have you got the number? Um, it's one of those thousand numbers, isn't it? We've tried it before. We've got up to 251, Okay. Well, you do 252 and the evens. I'll do the odds. Okay. <sighs> Hello. Uh, we'd like to discontinue the phones, please. Oh, right. Sorry. Hello? Uh, Cube Communications? Oh, uh, sorry about you. Hello, uh, Peter Chappell of Chappell. Uh, could you cut us off, please? Yes, could you cut us... Hello? Hello, you just cut me off. Peter Chappell. Well, I asked you to cut me off and you did. Well... Well, I do want cutting off, yes, but... Hello? Hello? Oh, bloody hell. Spade at the child. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Sell me a paper. Stay dead! Stay dead! Yeah. Piss my teeth out. Oh, yeah. Get down. Yeah. I'm pissing out. Oh. 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 
this at the moment, but you're in a coma. A coma? Yes. My name is Martin we'll Vaughan. We'll need to get you onto a life support machine at once. I first diagnosed symptomless it's coma just, it's just earache, it's just three years ago, of the early stages. and since not, then, I, I mean, I, I can move. the number of cases has been steadily Nurse. Increasing. Can you put a catheter in him? Insert a nasogastric tube and stand by with a largactil just in case he's. Um, yes. You know. Obviously. I should warn you, he has got quite a lot of tubes. Parents have a lot of difficulty they are all coming to terms with symptomless coma. Hello, love. Hello, Simon. How are you? Uh, I've got something terrible for him. He doesn't look right, they do, does he? He looks quite well. Are you quite well? I think so. I'm afraid he's very wrong. Oh, dear. All right, love. We bought you some fruit and some chocolate. Yes. It's a stupid. I'm afraid he's only allowed nutrition through the tubes, Mrs. Feather. Oh. You are, love. He's asking us to leave him alone. They get very tired. Does he want to get out? No, he wants us to go, Mr. Fallon. Oh, God. Yes, son? I think we'd better go before he gets upset. Oh, God. Oh, God. We just... I'm afraid he's likely to become a fool to himself, Mr. Fallon. Oh, dear. All right. Goodbye, son. Bye-bye, love. Take care of yourself. Oh, Nurse, could you double the benzodiazepine, please? Time and again, I've seen a healthy youngster, Safia, just going to increase the dosage. Rapid deterioration. Don't make this difficult for me. Almost from the very moment of diagnosis. Shut up. Nice bit of morphine. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. Just have a look around the ribs here. To have to watch a patient in a state of unavoidable decline runs against every instinct I have. Just have to check around the back of the neck. And... Oh. Oh God. When the dreadful day arrives, I try and make it as easy as possible for the family. Can I kiss him, Doctor? Yes. Very carefully. Yes. All right, love, all right. Bye-bye, love. Even then, their hopes can be very unrealistic. Oh, did he... did he feel that? No, I'm afraid he didn't. That was just a reaction. But, uh, he moved. I'm sure he felt something, didn't he? If he felt anything, I'm afraid it would only have been excruciating pain. Oh. Listen to the doctor, love. 
I ought to top up his morphine dose to stop him feeling any more. But I watch someone's last chance drown in a sea of diamorphine can be too much even for me. And close the system. <laughs> One day there will be a cure. But until that day, more and more young people will die. And I have to do this job again and again and again. And again. And again. And again and again. with waif and whirlwind wheel too fast and smash and snap and break in hands in beauty. Now you crumple low while vitriolic scold you whippering and rumble. And when light switch be your only friend and okay, friends are fine, but Christ, don't stand all day, no break for lunch, and flick your friend till fingers throbbing, blisters leak, and contact voltage smack you brains like squash ball, ECT, hee hee. Then welcome, ma, oozing pulswa welcome, in blue jam. Blue jam, 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 blue jam. 